guys, kind of long fun. time, no vlog. You can't hear me because I'm out starting a vlog in this chaotic place. But I thought I'd bring you guys along this week and hopefully every single week of autumn, October, November to just like document what I'm up to. I feel like summer is just like a hectic time. I can never fully vlog like regularly, but I feel like autumn is a little bit more tame. Still some fun things, but it's a little bit more like home time and like events. So I'm gonna try and vlog this week. I'm actually out, I'm actually like halfway through the day. I will insert some clips of what we did this morning, which I'll insert now. That's nicer than all of them That's put together. Nice but it is all of them put together. <laughs> No, yeah. that smells like a fireplace. Right, we're in Harrods. Yeah. I've not even introed this vlog gas as intro after. She's been having an absolute mare just existing today. I've had a bit of a nightmare today. Rakesh has tried on every single show the vlog. Every every Penhaligans. Well, every single Penhaligans that they make. I need to make sure that I know that they, the base And he's even is... written down all of what each one is. Yeah, because there's what's the point of getting them if you don't know what it is? And we've concluded we like them all smelt together. Yeah, if they, <laughs> if they did that as one, then I would buy it. Yeah, all of them smart together is actually nicest. Kenzo. Okay, moving on. Are you on. a Kenzo boy? Not really. This is very Western. Western. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought that said home pussy. Shh. <laughs> Moose knuckles post Malone. Everyone's on the collabs. Okay, so they don't love you filming in Harrods, but I found the most gorgeous bags. I was obsessed with this baguette. This little Fendi was adorable. I really like the grey kind of fur on it and I also loved the denim one. I just don't need any more bags. Love this tote, saw this last year. Obsessed with the little denim baguettes. I just think I still prefer the vintage ones. This was, I can't remember what the style of this bag is called, but it was very cool. They went to Bottega. I still love the Jodies, but I think I actually love the teen Jodies, like the slightly bigger version, but I'm on the hunt for a vintage one. Don't normally love Louis, but I really loved this like beige style Louis Vuitton. I came in black beige, I think in the coloured version as well. Then these were some more really cute like puffy coloured bags. I love the pastels, but they're kind of more summer bags. And just have a little look around. I just really love the Louis in Harrods. I feel like it's like the best one. Then we went to the Harrods food hall just to pick up some lunch. I think we literally just got like croissants and a baguette, but I just love the whole vibe of it in here. It always reminds me of Christmas. The cakes are incredible. Like look at that like passion fruit mousse cake, literally stunning. Next we went to Dior and I love the D-Joy bags. You guys know that's on my wish list. I love them so much. These little puffy pouches were adorable as well, but these were absolutely tiny. Like if you could see in comparison to my hand, they were micro obsessed with this like diamonty balenciaga hourglass it's like the mini version but i think it's still quite a lot of money for a very tiny bag which is probably very impractical right we're in the men's section i actually really like this bag it's like the puzzle bag but it's giant and i kind of love the big size i feel like it's something rakesh would very much wear what have you found yeah i like that i really like that i really like that i feel like you might like this as well I wish that their, their fits were a bit longer. I don't love always, the feel of that. Prop. It just feels a bit... This is nice. Because their, their fits are very similar to the Zara, where it's like, it's just cropped at the waistline. Yeah. I mean, that's why I prefer like Vetmont off-white, because it's like a lot longer. Yeah. I get you. Cute though. I do like the men's puzzles. This is a cool bag. Yeah, that is so yeah. nice. Hold it how you'd hold it. <laughs> I don't think I would use this though, to be fair. No, I mean like, over your crook of your arm. No, I, I would, I would, this is very confusing. I would wear it like that. Yeah. That but it's this nice. Is, this is like airport vibes. Like yeah, like travel bag, yeah. Yeah, very much so. Really nice. Like smaller one. Um, we basically just went to Selfridges, uh, not we went to Harrods, um, we got like a really nice, what is it you got? So with Rakesh guys, we just got some photos. What, what, what do you mean what I got? What, yeah, what food you got? The truffle croissant. Truffle croissant, um, truffle mushroom croissant. Yeah. I got truffle and much, mushroom focaccia, nice thing ever. Um, and then we just had a little look at the shops. I bought the Skims dress, which you'll probably see up and do on the screen. And I'm just so happy to say that she wanted it for the longest time. And it was actually always out of stock, so I've just never had it. And I finally got one, so I'm very happy. 
Um, so yeah, that is what we're up to. We're now at the Concerto in Bun is it Bun Street, Oxford Street? Bun Street. Sorry, I'm with my mum for a cash and I just chatting. Oh my god, what are you doing? No, what are you doing? Are you moving? Right. Well, anyway, we're sitting down. I might get a bottle of wine. What do you mean, my? I've been drinking all weekend, said I wasn't going to drink anymore, but I've got Ekin to event on Wednesday for Opoly, which is really fun. Drinking tonight, I feel like I'm just going to carry on, but I need to be a lot better. We're drinking well with you. And I also put my story to ask what you guys want to see like, in this little vlog week, but a lot of you said like, my outfits for each day, which I've not actually documented so far. I'll try and put a picture on the screen of, I just took some Instagram pictures, so I'll put one of them on the screen, but I've got on my Addicted Black Blazer, which I absolutely love. I've got on this just white band, this is just from Primark, it's literally like underwear. I've got on my new bash cut striped trousers, and then my vintage Chanel bag, well, pre-loved, and that's it. Earrings are from bash cut, and that is the look. Oh, and I've also got on my long bins. Which of my favourite trainers ever and it's worth more. Good morning guys. Actually I don't think it's even morning. I think it is about one o'clock. I was absolutely exhausted last night. I don't think I've ever been so tired in my whole entire life. I had like the busiest weekend and then we were out literally last night till like 11 p.m. I don't even want to talk about it. I was literally walking along Oxford Street nearly falling, falling asleep and I literally wanted to cry because I was so tired. I feel like this first week's gonna be quite rusty anyway because I'm kind of getting back into my vlogging swing. Um, but I had the loveliest day yesterday, looked in some shops, literally fell in love with everything and wish I had unlimited money so that I could buy everything but unfortunately we don't. Fell in love with this vintage Louis Vuitton bag, I'll pop it on the screen. I'm not quite sure if I said or not in the yesterday's vlog that I was going to Bagista, which is like Bagista, Bagista. Uh, it was like a vintage pre-loved bag shop in Knightsbridge and they had such amazing bags. But they had this really nice like a Louis Vuitton pink denim one that I actually fell in love with and probably would have purchased if I didn't just purchase my Balenciaga one. But I was like, do you know what, Bella, you don't need another pink bag right this second. But they had such good bags, such good prices. I did pick up a hair curler which I've just used and guys I'm literally obsessed this is my new favourite hair curler in the whole entire world. Um, obviously my hair is literally like day three hair as well and to get it like this just never happens. So it's from Jose Eber. I'm probably going to butcher the way of saying that but Jose Eber. This is the box if you guys are wondering. Um, but this was like a display in Selfridges. I wasn't even going to buy one. And I was just, I saw this display in Selfridges and they were like doing testers that like you could actually use these tools. And I was just using this on my hair and I was like, oh my God, this is insane. Um, it's basically very similar to my barrel from my Bombay hair bomb, which was my previous like favourite curler. But this one is like apparently a lot less damaging for your hair. He, the guy that was actually in there was so helpful and he put like one strand of my hair on the curler for no joke about two minutes and it did not fray it did not fizzle f fizzle frazz i just combined two words it literally did not burn it at all it literally was still like perfect so that sold it for me it also comes with a lifetime guarantee which i was like wow that's great for a hair curler i was like this is an ad this is not an ad but i was just so impressed this was quite expensive it was like 135 pounds but i thought if it's going to have a lifetime guarantee, then I'm never going to need another one. So this is great. But I would highly recommend it. It literally is so good. I literally put, like, one bit of my hair on for, like, two seconds. And it created the nicest curl. And I curled this, like, an hour ago. And I'm just obsessed. It also gave me, like, a little comb as well. Which he said he really recommended. And it's actually a really great comb. Because I know when I put this on my story, so many of you asked, like to share the results and a lot of you said cloud nine was really good um the ghd one oh my god right so the girl in selfridges at ghd was trying to like demonstrate one on my hair with like the grippy thing and she like put my hair in it and no joke it was in there for about two minutes and i was like thinking that my hair is going to break off i had to ask her to like take it out because i thought my hair was going to snap off and it didn't curl at all so i was really not impressed with that um but yeah this one is incredible it's the jose aber 32 millimeter clipless curling iron i'll try and link it down below if i can find it but this comb is actually really good as well I've done my makeup and i think i'm going to head to the shops because i've got a really exciting event tomorrow i've got an opoly ekinsu event and i feel like i just need to look 
I need to look my best. And I need some eyelashes. I need some hair oil because I've run out of hair oil. And I'm just going to have a little look in the shop, see what they've got there. I feel like it's always hard to look in like Primark, Zara, Bershka, all of them when you're in London and doing like Selfridges as well. I just think it's all a bit much. So I'm going to pop to the shops. I'll see if I find anything nice. I'm going to get dressed and decide what to wear and then I think I'm going to do some work today like film some reels, film some TikToks, some shorts and I'll just show you guys like kind of how I do my little work routine. I'm just trying to get back on it. I'm trying to drink a lot of water. I've had like three bottles of this like even more than that. So yeah let's decide what to wear and I'll show you guys if I find anything good at the shop. Okay, so I am now ready. I'll show you guys my outfit when I get downstairs. This jumper is from Addicted. I literally love it. I'm obsessed. This is actually part of like a co-ward, but I really just love to wear the jumper on its own with like some suit trousers or some jeans. And I've just got on with some suit trousers. Like I said, I'll show you probably guys when I'm downstairs and I can actually show you in the full length mirror. I'm just going to get my bag and let's go. So guys, little outfit of the day. My jumper, like I said before, is from Addicted. My suit trousers are actually from Zara. I got these last year in the sale and I still absolutely love them. I've got my Ugg Taz slippers, which I had last year as well. And then I've got on my Ugg Telfar bag. And that is a look. I feel like it's actually quite warm out, so I probably don't need a jacket. And obviously going to be inside, so no jacket today. But I probably would pair my like uh, brown Princess Polly jacket with this if I was wearing a jacket. But that is the look. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see like outfit of the day. So this is outfit. Probably my first documentation of the outfit in this vlog. Guys, I'm in Zara. I've seen this roll and I actually really like this. Kind of getting into tops that aren't as cropped and I really like the shape of this one. Um, this is 29.99. That's actually really not bad. But I just like the shape of it. It's kind of designer vibe. Also, I've got a really good grey blazer, which is very similar to like my Bershka one that I've got. This is... Let me have a look. <laughs> 49.99 so similar price to my Bershka one as well but it's very similar and they've also got these trousers which are really nice kind of like these grey suit trousers I think they're really a little bit too short for me because I'm quite tall but I think they're the ones that you can fold over at the top that have this kind of striped top detail but they're really nice quality these are 29.99 which is good as well I feel like I watched someone's vlog and everything was way more expensive but that seems quite cheap I'm also obsessed with this like bustier corset thing. They've only got a large, an extra large, which is so sad, but I'm literally obsessed with this. It's like designer. This is £45. Also really like this kind of bustier top. It kind of sits like that. With like trousers. This is £29.99. They've also got this, which I think is like the Molly May jacket. It looks a little bit different. I think it's as like good quality as her one, but it's very similar. Um, very cute, but I feel like it's too similar to my Princess Polly one. But it's 59 99 which is actually really good for a nice like faux leather jacket. Love the wash on it. So I went into the changing room. I tried on these three pieces. I absolutely fell in love with this top, like this tartan style top. I really like the way it kind of juts out at the bottom. I just didn't know how much I was going to wear it. That was the only thing. That was the only reason why I didn't purchase it, but I did really love it. Um, I think it's a size medium for reference. Then this is the black top, which I ended up purchasing. This is like a peplum style kind of like bandeau-y top. And I just feel like it's a really nice like alternative to a corset. And then this was the black dress that I tried on and I just don't think it was the most flattering. I mean, the light in the Zara changing rooms is awful, but I wasn't 100% sure. I then went into Mango and I found the best coat, but it was just a bit too short for me. I'm quite tall and it just kind of cut off at a bit of a weird place, um, but I love the vibe of it. Okay, I really need to get better at vlogging. It is now the evening. It's quite late. Um, but I've literally just been working like the whole afternoon evening. I've actually got so much done. I've got loads of reels done, which is great. I just sit and film them like in my room. Like I literally put the tripod there, ring light there. Really, there's not much to it. Um, but I just want to show you guys what I picked up from town. I actually picked up little black Zara top. I'll show you guys the little bits that I picked up from Boots, like the little cosmetic bits I got. So these are the lashes which I picked up. These are my favourite lashes. I actually don't love a very full lash. I way prefer just kind of a half lash. So these are the three quarter length Eyelaw Wispy number 005. Oh no, no, number 008, I believe. So then I picked up this mascara, which I think realised that I've been telling everyone wrong on Instagram for so long. that I've been wearing the NYX mascara and it's actually the e.l.f. one that I love. But I normally get the purple one. They didn't have the purple one in black they had it in brown so i picked up the waterproof one in black so i'm hoping it's going to be basically the same but this is just my favorite mascara ever it's literally seven pound it's so good 
Um, so I just picked up one of those and then I also picked up my Pantene hair oil, which I go through really slowly. I think my last one I had was like a year or two years ago. And this is actually like £2.50, which is great. And just leave my hair feeling really soft. I think Freya Killen actually got me onto that. Um, I will just show you guys my top quickly now. I mean, actually, I'll insert that. You guys saw it. I literally tried it on in the changing room, but I just picked up that black kind of corset peplum style top. I'll insert the video on the screen. But I'm going to try it on tomorrow's style up, see if I actually want to keep it. But I just, I fell in love with it in the changing room, so I had to pick it up. But yeah, I'm extremely tired. I need to take my lenses out because they're literally stuck to my eyeballs. Um, take makeup off and I'm going to put some hair oil in my hair for tomorrow. Kind of do a little prep. I was going to fake tan, I feel like, because I've been tanned the whole summer. I just feel like I'm now, my tan is fading. But I just watched my reels back and I'm like, oh, actually, I'm still really tan. So I'm going to try and hold off. I feel like it's not fake tan time yet. But um, I might just put some on my face, like some, a few drops. Just I feel like my face is the only part that's like a bit paler than my rest of my body. So I'm going to do that tonight, just do a little prep. Have a cosy evening. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, guys. Oh, oh my god, I thought my camera was gonna drop. Guys, I'm looking a bit crazy right now. Just clip my hair. It's the next day again. I need to get better at my vlogging game, but I'm a little bit stressed out because I am about to put my dress on for the Ekin Sue O'Pulley event, and I'm so excited. But the dress is very like tight and shows a lot of my stomach, so I'm not trying it on. I've just eaten dinner, so fingers crossed it's gonna look okay. Um, I've just curled all of my hair with my new curler. And I've just clipped up these little bits at the side just so they don't drop the curl. Because sometimes these bits tend to like drop quicker than the rest of my hair. But I've not brushed the curls out yet. But I'm so excited. I'm going to put it on now. I'm very scared. But I feel like... Great. That was excellent. See, I've literally done like nothing today. I've just been working on my phone. So I feel like it wasn't the most like exciting thing to film. I feel like tonight is like the exciting vibe. So vlogging tonight very excited i just found out my friend sadie's going so we'll see sadie which is really nice because i actually don't know anyone else that's going i thought georgia was gonna go but she just got back from venice so i'm not 100 sure she's going or not but we'll see sadie so it's all good yeah a bit nervous but i'll talk to you guys when i've got my dress on i'll just show you guys a little bit of a better look at the makeup this lighting is really not the best but i've just done kind of like a simple soft glam and with like the half lashes that i bought yesterday which look really nice. They're not like too much, but they just add a little bit more glamour because I feel like my daytime makeup now is just very, very minimal. So it's quite nice to get a little bit more glam, but let's try out the dress. It's literally, is it hanging up? Yeah, it's kind of hanging up, but you can't see it because it's kind of like, from the front, it looks like a two piece, but it's actually a full length, like maxi dress. It's stunning. Um, but I haven't decided my shoes, I haven't decided my bag. So let's go. Okay, guys, I'm actually obsessed with the dress. Like it could not have like gone better i think i've just put on this little um belly chain with it as well which i kind of love her makeup is done um i'm literally obsessed i'm not quite sure what this dress is called i'll link it down below if you guys are interested but just gonna pack my fendi baguette bag i think i'm gonna use that bag and i've just got on my trusty old boohoo heels because i just feel like if i'm walking around they're just the best thing to wear but yeah i literally love it so much very excited now just need to go on the train and I'm sure I'll catch up with you guys when I'm there.
try it home. It was trying. Best night ever. It literally was so good. I'm talking about everyone. Like everyone from Love Island. Everyone that I've seen on Instagram. Like, crazy. Crazy stuff. So. Love you. See you in the morning. Bye guys. Hello vlog. Long time no see. Actually one day no see. Um, I decided not to vlog yesterday. It was obviously after the event. I just felt like I wasn't doing anything that exciting. I was literally just working all day. I woke up super late. But oh my god, I literally had the best night ever. It was so fun. Everyone from Love Island is so nice. Like, I can't get over it. I feel like I've met a few people from, like, each season as I've been doing this job. But this year's contestants were literally the loveliest people I've ever met in my life. I can suit and Davide were just goals. Like, in real life as well, I feel like they are absolutely stunning. And they're actually, like, so in love. Like, you can just tell, I think. Obviously, had a vodka pour down my throat from Davide. Life complete. Um, and I don't know how, but I was not hungover. And I'm just trying to process why I wasn't hungover because normally I will literally drink like three Desperados recently and I'm getting a hangover and I don't know why. And that night I literally had gin, I had some Proseccos, I had the vodka that was being thrown in my mouth from Davide and I literally didn't have a hangover. And I don't know why. Is it because it's like more expensive vodka that you don't get hangover? I don't know. Like, is it that if you have, like, Grey Goose or something? Like, I feel like I didn't used to get hangover as a uni when I used to go out in London. I feel like that was more expensive vodka as well. Maybe there's benefits to paying more. But so many gorgeous girls, so many girls that I followed on Instagram for literally years. And it's so weird when you meet people that you followed and spoke to for so long. It feels like you already know them. But it's like, oh, hi, like, this is my name. But I feel like I always ask their name and I already know exactly who they are and i followed them and sought them and literally obsessed with them so it was so nice to meet everyone that night it's now half beer i've just been filming some youtube videos today hence why we're in a bit more of a kind of what setting like more of a civilized setting my hair needs a good wash but i'm going to danny's tonight so i'm just not gonna wash it because i'll just wash it tomorrow and i think later on we might pop out to the farm shop and like b&m and just kind of have a little look at some autumn bits i feel like these like stay at home work days just get a bit much and i just feel like i need to get out of the house and do something but i don't want to go into london like it's too late to actually do a lot of things but i just feel like popping out having a quick look maybe buying something cute um so i'll bring you guys along when we do that <laughs> Oh, cool. 